Hello everyone and welcome to Geekso Geeks. In this problem, we are going to see how to reverse an array without affecting special characters. So in this problem, you will be given a string that contains special characters together with alphabets. By alphabet, we mean the alphabet from small a to small z and from capital A to capital Z. So this string will be a combination of both the special characters and the alphabets. And we have to reverse the string in a way that special characters are not affected. That means the position of special characters should remain the same, but the position of the alphabets should be reversed. Let us try to understand this with the help of an example. So this is our first example. So as an input, we are given the string a comma b dollar c and as an output we get c comma b dollar a so you see the position of comma and dollar sign actually remains the same in the input and the output string so it is still at the uh, second position at the fourth position respectively but the position of the alphabet is reversed so uh, in the input string you can see the a was the first character that is the first alphabet and in the output string A is the last alphabet. Similarly, the C was the uh, last alphabet in the input string, whereas in the output string, it is the first alphabet. So only the subsequent ABC is actually reversed and the special characters remain wherever they were. Another example you see here that uh, this is the input string a b comma c comma d e exclamation sign dollar sign so you see that it has been uh, reversed and the uh, e here comes as the first alphabet and the capital a that was the first alphabet in the input string becomes the last alphabet in the output string so the simple solution to solve this problem uh, is this that you create a temporary character array say temp now what we do is we copy the alphabetic characters from given array to the temp array so we copy only the alphabetic characters and not the special characters now we reverse the temp array basically the temp string uh, using the standard string reversal algorithm so the position of the uh, alphabets in this temp is now uh, reversed uh, as compared to the position of the alphabets in the actual string array. Now you traverse the input string again that was the original string and temp in a single loop. So in a single loop we traverse both the input string and the temp array. Whenever there is an alphabetic character in the input string, whenever we find the alphabetic character in the input string we replace it with the current character of the temp array so when for example you find the first character uh, a here in the input string then you'll replace it with the uh, first character in the uh, temp array which will say be z so in effect it will actually reverse uh, the alphabets in the input string uh, the time complexity of this solution will be order of n which is fine but uh, i mean this is the least time complexity possible but it requires extra space that is uh, one drawback secondly it does two traversals of the input string so these are the two areas where we can improve upon so in the next algorithm we'll see how we can uh, we can do it we can solve this problem without using the extra space and also in one traversal instead of two traversals of the input string so this is the eff efficient solution where we are uh, reversing it in one traversal and without using extra space so the algorithm goes like this so let the input string be str and the length of the string be n then we have two iterator variables basically 
so we we start l at the left and r at the right so l starts with l equal to 0 r starts with r equal to n minus 1 so this will be pointing to the first index and this will be pointing to the last index as of now now what we do is uh, we run a loop while loop uh, and the condition in the while loop will be while l is smaller than r we do the following if the character at is character at the position l is not alphabetic you do l plus plus you increment the index else if the character at index r the element at index r is not an alphabetic character then you do r minus minus if both of these conditions are false that means the character at index l and r at both these position the character is actually alphabetic character then what we do is we swap those so we keep doing this so what we are trying what we are basically doing in this algorithm is that uh, we are starting one pointer from the left and one pointer from the right and we uh, go uh, uh, go from the left and right side and we keep on swapping the character elements as and when we encounter them so we find out the next uh, alphabetic character from the left side then the next alphabetic character from the right side and then we swap them so let us look at the code so we have the first of all uh, helper method which is bool is alphabet we just check that if the uh, input character is uh, alphabetic character or not so it just checks if uh, x is greater than or equal to capital a and x is smaller than or equal to capital z or x is greater than or equal to small a and x is smaller than or equal to small z if that is the case it returns true otherwise it returns false now here is the implementation of our algorithm uh, in the method reverse we take as an argument the string we first of all calculate the length of the string using strlen string length method and the we initialize the value of r with the string the length of the string minus 1 which will be the ending index and ls the 0 as the starting index now as discussed in the algorithm we run a loop and uh, in the while loop we have a condition that till the time l is smaller than r we do this that if the character at index l is alphabetic if it is not alphabetic then we increment the value of l otherwise if the character at index r is not alphabetic then we decrement the value of r if character at both index l and r are alphabetic then we swap them once we swap them we increment the value of l and we decrement the value of r so that uh, these conditions uh, we can again check in the next iteration so once uh, the value of l becomes smaller than r that means the whole array has been traversed then this uh, while condition will become false and will break out of the loop and thus we'll be getting the uh, desired output so let's see the driver method so you are say given the input string as this so we what we do is we first of all print the input string then we call the method reverse by passing the string as the argument and then we print out the output as whatever the output we got so we print out the output string so thank you very much that is all for this tutorial